but if you're new here welcome and of course if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you because you have been keeping me in this business i had wanted to do this video for a very long time but i was looking for you know i just avoid the topic because yeah it's going to attract all kinds of emotions some people are going to go to sleep today regretting ever bullying me or questioning my source of income or looking down on me because i don't get up by six o'clock get ready and leave the house by eight nine o'clock to go to work some people are going to be very apologetic tonight they're going to be very very sad they're going to be remorseful because of the amount of bully i have gone through so welcome to another incredible video and this one may not really attract my audience my usual audience due to the topic of the video i know my audience and my audience knows me and i know what they want to see on my channel Typically, I want to react to a video I bumped into, or would I say I bumped into, yeah? A video, there's this particular video by BPC Africa that I bumped into here on the streets of YouTube. Due to the title and the fact that the video is new, they are talking about the YouTubers income in Ghana. Like, basically, they are talking about Ghanaian YouTubers or, no, I would say Ghanaian social media personalities so and then a lot of them shared insight some of them even went as far as opening the analytic in showing us about the video i mean how much they make a month and stuff like that so what they did is they brought youtube one youtuber and they brought one person from um they brought one person from tiktok and they brought another one from instagram okay instagram tiktok something like that but the one i could relate to it was that of the youtuber a Ghanaian youtuber and how much is making so that is the reason for this video i want to react and i want to support i want to contribute i want to educate i want to analyze so that a lot of people can get it this video has a lot of information regarding how to make money on youtube factors that make you make money the ones that makes you not make money the one that was you know basically why you are not making money or why you should start making money if you're not making enough money it's not like i'm making enough you know my channel is small like my channel is a baby channel like i will even say my channel is like embryo a fetus like i'm still baking in the womb i'm not even born yet so my channel is still a very small one but at least we have made something to keep body and soul going so but then with the little i have made so far i have been able to put it to good use even though there is nothing tangible for me to say okay oh i built this house i bought this car i did this thing with youtube income but i can proudly say that youtube have changed my life like i have gone from ice cream struggle ice cream suffering to where i am today where i'm still struggling okay really really struggling but not as bad as it used to be before i will teach you guys some of the basics that i know so far i want to react to the youtuber income and his name is kwajo shadon i think that is very correct like kojo is it kojo or kojo kojo shadon yeah kojo shadon i want to like react because i could relate more to his own story than the others because i don't do tiktok i'm on tiktok but i cannot say i'm a tiktoker but i can proudly beat my chest to say i'm a youtuber and as a matter of fact even youtube have recognized that i am a youtuber because at some point they have sent me invitation later to attend one of their programs which i didn't see because i had numerous drama that i was facing at that time in my life so i didn't see it by the time i saw it it was late i could relate more to the youtuber among them 
I want to throw more light on that. This guy went as far as showing his analytics to BBC Africa documentaries. So to BBC Africa documentaries, he went as far as showing them his YouTube income for that month. And according to that video, he said that he used to earn somewhere. No, hold on. According to that video, he said he used to get like three point something million views in a month that is a lot right that is a lot and he went for that to show how much he actually made you know from these videos from these views that he generated within a month and the total b for that month the total income revenue for that month was about 11 plus thousand us dollar that is a lot of money to be made by just sitting down and you know pouring out your hearts giving your thoughts from the reaction at the comment section i could see that a lot of people are surprised they don't even know that people make money from you know social media especially youtube so this guy talked about his income and that brought me back to myself because i have been around youtube for a while i've been around youtube for three years but as a matter of fact my channel just started to pick up in october of 2021 and at that october 2021 i was at 2k subscribers count so since that october 2021 i have gotten 6,000 view i mean I've gotten 6,000 subscribers. I wasted a period of two years because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just everywhere trying my hands at different things, copying literally everything I saw on the people that inspired me to start my journeys. I didn't know anything until my beloved, I have mentioned her name several times, Deli, Deli Bia from Cameroon who lives somewhere far away, came out and reached out to me because she had her breakthrough and then she came back to say, okay, I want to help you. And immediately she gave her advice, I took it. I started to, you know, my channel started to get that visibility. And since then till now, I have not looked back. I'm glad it's not much you can check. I don't have much views, but I'm content with that little that I have. I know I'm going somewhere, it's a process. For me, if you ask me my brain, I will consider myself a year old on YouTube, but so I've been on YouTube for a whole three years. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, so right now my channel is not that big, just at 8k subscribers. The subscribers means absolute nothing to YouTube. If you like have 1 million subscribers on your channel and then if you get a thousand views, you're going to make money according to that views, not you're going to make your money according to the views, not according to the subscribers count. The subscribers count, the like, the comments, all these things are not bringing you any income. But what brings you income are the views. But let me surprise you. In that, some videos don't get much views, but they make more money than videos that have more views. I was trying to figure it out. I was, you know, learning. I wanted to know why and I know why right now and in this video as generous as I could be I want to share everything with you the title you give to your video is very very important how you title your video is important that is why sometimes people will come and cry me a river oh don't title that video like that hey how can you say this place is the best in Africa yeah you said it's the best why not is it authentic the best youtube believe is the best and product owners like brands want to rock with the best so what do you think that video gonna make more money another thing is intelligent topics youtube can kill themselves for intelligent topic brands love intelligent topics channel right now i don't know if it is because i'm intelligent or not i don't know i didn't say that with my mouth but i have intelligent audience i don't i wouldn't say it's because i'm intelligent or i present the most intelligent topics or whatever but my channel right right now I have 98 percent of my audience are all men 98 percent of my audience are men and they are not boys i mean men 
you know youtube tells you everything they gossip to you about your audience where they are how they watch what they think their ages basically youtube tells you that so someone with audience like that even if you're not making you're not getting much views you're likely gonna make something meaningful for me right now with the little i have like my audience with the little audience i have now and the little small small views that i'm getting just imagine that my channel blew and i start to generate a lot of views i'm gonna make a lot of money do you understand so for me it's just like okay a seed that have been sold it's just for me to water it until it grows, you know, it germinates, it grows and bear me fruit. So I'm not in a hurry. So the little, little I'm making to keep body and soul together is okay for me. It's okay for me for now until I get to that part, you know, to that point where I really want to, you know, make the most of what I have, which is my audience. Do you understand? So there are channels like that. There are channels that get much, much views than I, and they don't get much. They don't make a lot of revenue. You know why? You're all, see, YouTube knows everything. You come to YouTube for play, right? You come to have fun. No problem, you go get the fun. I'm not saying you should come here all serious, but they know that you are a baby channel, baby girl for life, soft life, you're just out for fun. And most of your audience are baby girls like you the baby girls don't have money to buy houses baby girls can't buy cars baby girls can't travel to the best destination so the brands that are attached to your channel are not going to be able to pay you a lot of money even if to suit your subscribers count or your views do you understand so even if you get lots of views you're still not going to make a lot of money because your audience is the fun one the soft life like the baby girl the you know yeah that is it youtube knows these things and a lot of people come here they make videos they're not making they're not seeing any result and then because of that they kind of doubt the next person sitting close to them like but i have more views than this person how come this person is progressing and i'm not these are the factors so you have to put in work you can attract just by yourself okay this one not be saying i need sin just by your own determination to say okay just by your own determination to say okay i want to change my audience your content will change immediately okay but i'm not saying you should change today because some people feel secure you know by the numbers of views they have on their channel so that people can see that they have a lot of views it gives them a kind of a sense of belonging sense of success sense of progress so they don't care even if they're not getting the revenue but as long as the views are there they like it do you understand that their cpm is so low it's like it's so low there are channels with lower views than me that are making lots of money like real money because of what intelligent topic and intelligent conversation intelligent videos intelligent presentation they know you are out to make money they are, you are YouTube knows when you're out to make money. They know when you are here to pepper people. They know when they just basically be there for you to give you that thing that you want. So once you break through, it is up to you to try to, you know, if you want, if you come here to make money, why not? They're going to help you make it. It's just for you to adjust. Okay. Some of the things you do that are unnecessary because there's no grown matured man that is com it's coming to sit down and watch you twerk 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 and then talk about things that are not even making sense talk about one chewing gum that your boyfriend bought for you cut remain you know you get it real <laughs> real people that are going to help you make money don't have time for that and also that comes with its own side effects because mm, it's going to build a kind of um, it's going to put pressure on you to be able to maintain that lifestyle that they are expecting from you it becomes a problem so for you to find a balance be yourself okay be yourself because you have intelligent audience they could tell when you are yourself and when you are fake i hope that is noted so title your videos with wisdom and try your best to make your videos make sense no matter what make it make sense even if you want to show us a restroom make it make present it don't go there and just dance around present it talk about it analyze it that was what delibia taught me and since then i've not looked back i saw a video recently from um 
a youtuber that is close to me i'm close to her but i i, I won't call her name because it's like this that video has potential to go viral do you understand i wanted to share it myself on my community tab but i looked at it like it's not share worthy because you know why she spent a lot of time on things that are not even important about the video she was talking about you know a lot of things that didn't make sense to that video so and then when it's time to show us this thing put it to use show us bring the camera close to that place and point it you know educate us about it tell us okay this one i bought for this amount and this one i bought for this amount and i'm going to do it like this she didn't do that instead she was playing music and dancing so I'm like okay i'm not going to be part of this so that video stopped you know even if it, it bop a pump even if that video pop on in front pages of people and they see once they click they're going to click out and that is a problem when people click in your video and click out immediately youtube will not be able to recommend that video to more audience but when people click and they watch it enjoy it youtube is going to market it because they are also benefiting from that i hope that you know so anything you want to do go straight to the point okay you want to you want to bash lily ogini or you want to bash ghana you want to bash nigeria you want to bash bash for those that are into hate comments i mean hate channels those hate channels those trolls know your work when you want to throw do it focus on that don't go beat around the bush okay so that is my zip have been open all this while sorry so that is one of the biggest factor that is when your video your channel is going to be discovered when people click you are wasting time dancing oh charlie real people intelligent minds don't have time so it's not like women are not intelligent but youtube is also that gender bias okay as a matter of fact youtube is gender bias okay they have that gender inequality that they practice but they won't tell you because the audience with <laughs> channels with male audience get more you understand treatment they get more they have more advantage because they believe that men are ready men can afford men are ready to buy houses men are ready to buy cars men are ready to invest in real estate men are so they know these things i mean they think like that i wouldn't say they know these things because a lot of women are doing well i personally know somebody on youtube here who have made money from youtube to buy herself a house take your youtube channel seriously and some of you with your mouth you have killed your channel hey i did not come here to make money i came here to have fun i can't do you 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 destroy it you mock at those that are making something those that are serious about their growth those that are serious about building they are brand you are mocking at them so how will your own come you are angry at them okay you say they are jobless when they start to make it you get angry you say they are scammers they are this so how will you ever progress how i know someone that lied about something about channels that the person said he or she i wouldn't say i wouldn't be gender specifying i will not specify the gender so the person said that that person said he or she has another channel that has a lot of views you know that time when youtube still allow you to private your subscribers count so we didn't know you understand when they open everything we now see that there's nothing there and that channel is not basically not monetized because they are all copyrighted content you see so who is fooling who the fact that you're not making money doesn't mean the next person is not making and another thing is the small money that you are looking at to be small money for another person it can be a lot so that is it for me i wouldn't so have me yeah the most i think okay the that time i rented this place i made that particular month i made about 1200 us dollar just for one month you understand and that was what helped me to get this apartment it's just like someone putting money in your pocket use that money to solve this problem at that time so that was what happened to me basically there are a lot of different reasons for different things so i made that amount for that month it doesn't mean that my income is still there okay it has dropped drastically and i know why and i'm not in a hurry because i will get back there everything is just for you to understand the process and trust on the process so don't just wake up come to youtube today of course like these two people that got monetized one of them started two years ago do you understand one of them started since 2020 towards 
okay, these two people that got monetized, one of them started last year, and the other one started three months ago. And how many videos that she have posted on her channel? I think like four videos, and they are going viral because she took my advice. I told her, man, see what she still can't believe it. So you see, it's about knowing what to do and also your luck. Because this YouTube thing, eh? <laughs> this YouTube thing, if you're not careful, that's, YouTube just kind of basically remind you, humble you that you are nothing and you are something. So if you come highly, feeling highly of yourself and then you draw videos, they're not doing well, you'll be disappointed. And then of course, if you come humbly, do video, they, they boom. It's gonna take you to that high place. So YouTube is there for you. So if you want to start a channel today, why not? But don't go, you know, trolling those that are doing it. Hey, people advise you, stop that. And you have to watch out for people that are out to hijack your dreams. Some people want to force. At the same time, you have to be smart because some people want to force a niche on you by advice. They do this out of good intention, but it's going to hurt your channel in a way that then they say they cannot help you because they have zero they have zero experience do you get it don't go borrowing money don't do it don't go borrowing money to come and put in your youtube channel because you're going to be a very broke person for a really long time there are people on youtube you think are doing very well they are not they have that money but they are settling debt trust me a lot of people are settling debt i personally know a lady that have bought a house with her youtube income and i also know a lady that borrowed money to start her youtube channel do you understand? She borrowed money in my eyes, like I saw it. Just imagine, and she have all these depth um, speculation at about that time. A lot of people were attacking her, even on YouTube here. People came out calling her out for hoeing them. Okay, how is that person going to do? Is that person going to do well? I have doubts. So if you have anyone that supports you for you to be able to create videos that people want to see, it's perfect. But don't put too much pressure on yourself because some videos you invest so much into them and at the end of the day they don't do well. But the ones that you don't even care, you don't want to, you, don't, you almost delete. That one kind of do well. So it's just for you to understand what works for you and just do it anyway don't give up okay keep pushing so if you want to start your own youtube channel now is the time don't wait start okay like people tell you hey what else do you do this is very embarrassing like very i don't know if there is to embarrass creatives or you don't know you're trying to mock them or you don't know what they are making it's funny, even someone like Miss Trudy, people are still asking her, what else do you do apart from making videos? Wow. And now she can tell them, I do real estate because she have made that money from here and then invest it in real estate. Do you understand? Back in the days when they asked her that, she used to tell them she does nothing but YouTube. I know people have come for her, advising her to look for this, look for that. You don't know the energy we put in here. A lot of people put in work. There are times I have, I sleep very late. If you know me, you can attest to the fact that I sleep very late at night because of what YouTube videos. I have to edit, I have to film. The stress is just numerous and it's, it costs us a lot of money, especially if I want to travel now. It costs me a lot of money. So it's not cheap. It's not something you can say, okay, let me, this one is for fun. If you're doing YouTube for fun, YouTube is going to do you for fun, bet it. That person that made money to be able to buy a house that I know of, this one, I know the person. The person didn't start. See, the person sat down and said, okay, I'm done with my job. Like, this job is not paying me. I'm not saying she resigned from your job and started a YouTube channel. But take your channel seriously. Immediately, she took that decision and focused on creating the real videos that people want to see. Her channel picked up and she bought a house. Not in, even in Africa. Do you understand? So, these things are too good. So, don't... A lot of people are going to come tell you, hey, drop this niche, do that one. Or if you are the type that likes strength, like um, Kwajo, this Kwajo, Shadon, Shadon Kwajo, or Shudo, <laughs> Shudo Kwajo, or Kojo Kwajon, or Shudo, Shudo, Kojo Kwa, Shudo Shadon. This guy, like this Kojo Shadon guy, is into trendy topics. There are a lot of money to be mixed there. If you know how to present it, know how, see, know your onions. Come jiggy jiggy, don't come 
you know, because people are going to come for you. Of course, they drag you. If you're like me, you drag them back. If you're the classic type, you let them go. If your mental health is going to be okay at night, you let them go. So, yeah, basically, if you want to start YouTube, do it. You can do it alongside with other things you're doing, but don't look down on your YouTube channel because it's going to look down on you. I know people that have been here for a really long time. It doesn't mean they will not get their breakthrough. Some of them are there, but they don't know what they are doing. They're just playing around. You come, you're a cooking channel, you spend time talking about you. Take your camera to the pot, freaky. Take your camera to your pot, okay? Show us what's up in that pot. Take your, take your camera to your makeup, if that is what you're teaching people. Take your camera to the hell to the hair. Take your camera to the hair if you're teaching people how to make their hair. Take it there. These niches are, I mean, niches. There are a lot of niche. Um, there are niche that are doing well on YouTube right now. Hair, you see natural hair is doing incredible. And there are countries that are trending too. Ghana used to be that country that was trending you know a lot of people took advantage of that but where are they today they are lonely so if you are the type that want to follow trends make sure you continue you don't just follow trend and then when that particular one finish you come and sit down